Hi again. Today we are exploring yet another important topic of finance that is cost of capital. I C M Dali Khose. Welcome you to this learning journey. Let's begin with understanding the meaning of term cost of capital. Organizations can raise funds using multiple options such as by issue of shares, bonds, debentures or even by taking loans. these sources of funds are divided into two categories own funds and borrowed funds own funds consist of money that is raised using issue of shares on the other hand borrowed capital consists of bonds debentures loans these sources are cumulatively known as capital in finance cost of capital is minimum return on investment that any organization needs to earn in order to repay its finances we'll first start with cost of debt we'll try to understand how cost of debt is calculated for most of the organizations possible debt scenarios are bonds debentures or loans debt can be either redeemable or irredeemable in nature In redeemable debt the principal amount is repaid at the time of maturity along with interest however in case of irredeemable debt only interest will be paid every year there won't be any repayment of principal amount let's first try to understand the cost of irredeemable debt as we just discussed in case of irredeemable debt only interest will be paid in almost all the cases interest comes with tax benefit when organization will be paying interest on its debt it will be first reduced from earnings before interest and taxes after that tax is calculated hence whenever there will be payment of interest organization will get tax benefit while calculating cost of irredeemable debt we will only consider interest component as there is no repayment of principal amount on this interest also we will get tax shield while calculating cost of debt we compare outflow with inflow so whatever outflow we are going to incur due to opting for debt component that will come in numerator as we are going to get tax shield on it we will reduce that much amount from interest we will compare this amount by dividing it by net proceeds that we have got from this particular debt venture while issuing this debt if there are any costs which are associated with this particular issue then that much amount will be reduced from net proceeds along with any discount amount let's look at an illustration i am pausing for a moment so you can read the question loan is raised by an organization using irredeemable debentures face value is rupees 1000 coupon rate that is interest rate is 9% per annum it price is rupees 90 so we will take this as base for net proceeds t are incurred as debenture issue expenses so this much amount will be reduced from net proceeds effective tax rate is 25% per annum Let's put these figures into the formula. Interest will be nominal value multiplied by coupon rate that is rupees ninety. Post tax interest will be ninety multiplied by zero point seven five. Either you can multiply by point seven five or you can multiply by one minus zero point two five. Effectively, the answer will be same. Discussed earlier, for calculating net proceeds, we will reduce rupees fifty from market price so effective net proceeds will be rupees 900 when we will put these figures into the formula the cost of debt after tax that we will get is 7.5% one more important point to remember is that interest is always calculated on face value hence while calculating interest we have taken rupees 1000 as base after understanding cost of debt in context of irredeemable debt let's move on to the 
redeemable debt in case of redeemable debt along with interest even principal value will be repaid at the time of maturity this repayment of principal value is known as redemption value this redemption value is equivalent to face value if redemption is done at par when redemption is done at premium then this redemption value will include premium along with face value unless facially specified tax benefit is restricted to the interest component as repayment will be done after the maturity whatever difference is there between redemption value and net proceeds that will be apportioned over the life of debentures or bonds in numerator the first half of formula will exactly look like cost of irredeemable debt as principal will be repaid at the time of maturity the difference between redemption value and net proceeds divided by number of years will be adjusted in the second part of the formula an entire numerator will be divided by average of redemption value and net proceeds while calculating net proceeds if there are any issue expenses specific to given issue then that will be reduced along with discount if any let's look at the illustration face value is rupees 10000 applicable coupon rate is 7% per annum redemption is at premium while calculating redemption value 5% amount will be added to the face value life is 5 years issue expenses are rupees 400 tax rate is 30% we are expected to calculate after tax cost of debt for redeemable debentures when we substitute these figures into formula after tax interest that we will get is rupees 490 average of redemption value and net proceeds will be rupees 10050 and the premium that will be apportioned over a life of 5 years will be rupees 180 while calculating redemption value we will also add premium component so face value is rupees 10000 on that premium is payable at 5% so 500 will be added and eventually redemption value will be rupees 10500 as we substitute these figures into final formula the effective kd after tax will be approximately 6.67% per annum i hope concept of cost of debt is clear by now until next time keep learning thank you